Welcome people, Population Nation here. Now, I come across this uh, little science fiction fantasy uh, series called uh, Avenue 5 and uh, I, I don't know why I had sort of mixed feelings to, to start with, you know, because I, I I quite like the Star Trek, in fact, you know, old Trek, uh, Deep Space Nine, you know, loved it. And um, recently I watched uh, Orville, really got into that. Um, the Orville's got, you know, more on the comedic side of things, you know, Star Trek was a bit more, you know, <coughs> A bit more sort of serious, if you like, a bit more, um, you know, a bit more, uh, get the mind thinking, like. Um, then you had shows like uh, the, the, the Expanse, uh, and you take on things. It took me a while to get into that, but I ended up really enjoying it. Although I was extremely annoyed when uh, I got quite far, and then I heard that uh, Amazon had actually cancelled it and not actually finished making it, which really peed me off to the fact that uh, I didn't watch a single episode after that, so I do not know uh, what happened. Um, but I believe I can get it on audiobook. Uh, so I think I might invest in that. Uh, Firefly, another uh, great series that was cancelled, and uh, and one of my all time favourites. I read the the, the books, uh, I seen the film, but the BBC audio book of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Brilliant. Uh, I was living in London for a bit and I was working as a labourer. Really hard job. Like, really physically demanding. And I used to get covered in uh, cement and sand and dust all day and sweat. And, you know, I was absolutely knackered at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, me and a guy I work with, what we do is... Straight away, we'd go to the pub, have a, a beer or two or whatever, and then he'd get on the bus and, 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 and go back to his messies and have his tea. And um, I'd walk back to where I lived, um, have a shower, put some clean clothes on, and I'd go to my room. By at this point, it's quite late anyway, you know, I'm exhausted, but, you know, at least I'm nice and clean and fresh. I got into bed, turned the light off, and I'd have my little walkman and sit in my little stair at the side of me. And I'd, I'd, I'd put on the audio book, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, because uh, it was about nine discs long. Uh, yeah, right. So, and I'd listen to, you know, a couple of... Episode tonight or whatever, like, as well as the uh, Lord of the Rings and others, like, uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, fantasy uh, and science fiction, and you, you, you know, uh, I'm one of the few people that actually enjoyed Cowboy Bebop. Um, well, that's because I watched it, I didn't know about the anime. And I watched it and I thought, oh, this is all right, actually, you know. And then I started seeing all these complaints and rants and what. So I then went to watch the anime and then I totally understood why it peed so many people off, basically. Especially the manga fans and that, like, yeah. You know, I, I, I thought they added a few good things, um, but it was just the... Uh, the 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 bad things the the added and the good things that they didn't put in there, 
you, you know, and uh, yeah, so uh, like I say, I enjoyed watching it, but then I, I, I saw the anime, the anime is much better, and I understand why people have peed off. Um, just like uh, many other things that uh, like Netflix are doing with the, the Witcher and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, uh, getting back to the point now, Avenue 5, you know, we've we, we seen what uh, Kurtzman has done with uh, Star Trek, you know, we, we've got retard and um, diversity, you know, two absolutely crap shows that have got nothing to do with Star Trek, that are just abominations, like, just, just, just pure enough to, like, I don't know, Nonsense, just t box taking crap like you know. The only thing funny about it is, is how ridiculous it is. But anyway, yeah, I came across this show, and uh, I watched it, and it was a bit like I'm getting a bit of the vibes of the Orwell here, like you know. Uh, I actually thought it was just like a, a one hour like a little film type thing. I didn't realize it was a series. But yeah, Avenue Five, basically. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown, basically, in the future, you know, people can go on uh, luxury tours and, and, and space, and, um, you know, one of the guys, a guy called Judd, uh, one of the richest men on earth or whatever, uh, he's got this luxury liner, and, um, you know, he's got all these VIPs and guests and whatever he, he's aboard, and... Basically, he's one of them. He's an eccentric, like, trillionaire, whatever, and he likes publicity stunts, you know. And just like the the captain who uh, wanted to set a new world record for the fastest time between uh, England and New York in the Titanic, and his arrogance got the better of him, and unfortunately, they were going too fast, couldn't slow down in time, or didn't see the iceberg time in the head, so we all know what happened there. Yeah, terrible. You know that was a tragedy. Uh, so on this, he he he, he does some uh, publicity stunt, something the largest uh, zero g uh, yoga class in history, and uh, something goes wrong, <clears throat> and then basically one thing after another goes wrong, and. Uh, yeah, it turns out that basically, you know, the people on board aren't who they say they are, and no one knew what's going on, and just one crazy thing after another crazy thing, you know, and <laughs> it's just stupid. Like, you know, watching it, it's like, oh my god, what silly thing, you know, everything that can go wrong can go wrong, and the stuff that's going wrong is pure and utter silliness, and the silliness on top of silliness, and obviously people's egos come into play, but at the heart of it is, um, you know, a group of people trapped on a luxury space liner, and um, what should have been like, a, I don't know, a six week round trip, ends up becoming like a six month round trip to a three year round trip to ten years and uh, as you know we've got one problem to solve after another and um yeah I quite enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't finished watching it yet. Um but yeah it's both fascinating, it's funny, uh like I say things that can go wrong can go wrong, I think um uh, if you like the Orville, uh, I think you'd like this. I think if you're a, a fan of comedy in general, you'd perhaps uh, like this. And I think um, if you like your sort of science fiction, uh, you know, it's a bit tongue in cheek, but uh, I think you'd like it as well. Uh, anyway, yeah, check it out. Avenue 5, it's called. Um, yep. Appreciate your subscription. Give us a thumbs up. 
give it to you if you could. But uh, uh, I don't think the the YouTube thing allows you to do that. Uh, but you can't have it both ways, can you? Yeah. Share the video. Love to hear back from you. Drop us a comment. Uh, and uh, as always, ring that bell. Ding dong. Have a good day. Peace.